Welcome to our uh, Winged Percussion Ensemble concert for fall, and uh, my name is Josh Walker, I lead the ensemble, and we're going to do four pieces for you, and I wanted to give you a little background about the first piece that we're doing, because you see, we use a lot of um, different instruments besides your traditional percussion, and I want to give you a little bit of uh, what the composers had in mind when he composed this piece. You're going to hear a lot of just, there's some places where it's just a lot of noise. Um, the, the name is Doomsday Machine. It's written by Michael Burt, and uh, this is how he described it. He said, it's named for an episode of Star Trek. Um, if you're a Star Trek fan, you might recognize the episode. And um, this, the composer said, it's his favorite science fiction series of all time. The Doomsday Machine is an enormous weapon, both in size and strength, that was left adrift in space. This war machine was capable of destroying whole planets and was discovered, of course, by Captain Kirk and his crew. Uh, the, the Enterprise ultimately did conquer the Doomsday Machine by feeding it another starship that was set to self-destruct. Uh, the piece that he wrote was meant to be an orally and visually captivating work that explores the multitude of wood, metal, and membrane sounds in an explosively energetic dance. So you're going to see a lot of, like you said, wood sounds and wood locks, uh, well, lock drums, excuse me. Um, you're going to see tin cans used. Uh, you're going to see some odd symbols like that's an opera gong. Can you hit it one time? Um, and then membrane, timpani, snare drum, kungas, bass drum, and bongo. So enjoy.
this one is going to take a, I'm going to set some of our instruments back, so I'm going to talk about this next piece. This is called Stubernick. Uh, it's written by Mark Ford. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about, first of all, the, where he got the name from, and then some things you're going to see in the piece. Um, it was written for a friend of his, Gene Stuber, that's the Stuber part of the name. And um, Gene Stuber and her husband went to uh, they went to Central America for humanitarian uh, aid. And uh, one of the countries they went to was Nicaragua. So there's the Nick part of Stuber, Nick, Stuber and Nick. So he dedicated this piece to them. They're good friends of his. Now what you're going to see in this piece is for Marima Trio on one instrument. And you're going to see several things. You're going to see um, it's a very visual piece. And you're going to see things like hitting on the resonators and on the side of the instrument and things like that. There's a couple little tricks that we do. Um, but it's, uh, he wanted to capture the sound of like the Nicaraguan marimba bands. Um, marimba is a big instrument in Central America. You see a lot of marimba bands, Mexican bands, Nicaraguan bands, Guatemalan bands. And he, he didn't necessarily use Nicaraguan uh, music per se, but he wanted to capture the spirit that is found in the music. So um, you're going to see um, a lot of that towards the end of the piece, especially. Um, so this is stupid.
Okay, width is going to require a set change. We got uh, last two pieces that are going to be two uh, Christmas carols that I arranged for percussion ensemble. Uh, the first one we're going to do is Carol the Bells, and I arranged this about five years ago for uh, our church. We have a have a church I'm on staff with called Stowe Memorial Baptist Church, and every year we do a singing Christmas tree. So they asked me to do something that for my high school percussion ensemble group. So I arranged this, and we're doing a. Uh, a scaled down version for five, five six performers. Uh, so this is Carol the Bells. We may need a minute or two to get everything. <laughs>
Thank you.